Canadians are using social media to share their experiences voting in the first pandemic federal election. Long lines, missing voter cards, wrong polling stations and added COVID-19 protocols were common themes, but for some, the process was a bit more clunky. In an email, Natalie de Montigny, a spokesperson for Elections Canada, said election workers did everything possible to ensure voting went smoothly and that all electors in line at any polling place by 9.30 p. M. were allowed to vote. In cases, where a polling location had to be moved, an updated voter information card was sent to the electors by mail or if it time was too short, information officers were redirecting electors showing up at the former site to the new site. We will carefully analyze how the election went, and where we could have done better. Planning and delivering an election during a pandemic came with additional challenges, but we will take the time to look into election day in order to learn from it. Elections Canada spokesperson she added, we know we did not meet all voters' expectations in terms of accessibility to the vote with some voters in urban ridings who waited patiently to cast their vote. Our poll workers did everything they could in challenging circumstances to ensure a safe voting process. We want to thank Canadians for their patience and understanding yesterday, and for their commitment to the democratic process. Despite the admission, the plethora of issues had many questioning whether having an election during a pandemic, with such short notice was fair to both voters and staff. Toronto journalist Matt Kearney took to Twitter to share how the address on his voter ID card led him to a polling station that had a sign that made it clear he was in the wrong location. This content is not available due to your privacy preferences, update your settings here to see it. The tweet inspired others to share in their tales of election day flubs. Some were sent to the wrong location nearby, when they were in fact expected to go to another location further away. Story continues this content is not available due to your privacy preferences, update your settings here to see it. This content is not available due to your privacy preferences, update your settings here to see it. This content is not available due to your privacy preferences, update your settings here to see it or in the wrong riding, this content is not available due to your privacy preferences. Update your settings here to see it. Others, including CBC host Janela Massa, didn't receive their voter cards. This content is not available due to your privacy preferences. Update your settings here to see it. This content is not available due to your privacy preferences. Update your settings here to see it. This content is not available due to your privacy preferences. Update your settings here to see it. Some didn't get their ballot for mail in voting package, this content is not available due to your privacy preferences. Update your settings here to see it. One voter faced a flooded parking lot at his voting. This content is not available due to your privacy preferences, update your settings here to see it.